Like Cancer. Hello Cancerians, welcome to your horoscope for this January 2023. So what we've got going on for this month is that we've got on the 4th, we've got Venus which goes into your 8th house, um, so house of money. So that's good for um, investments, it's good for um, any sort of like maybe even loans that you're trying to get or even like partnerships and business deals uh, or even like saving money, it's good for that too. Um, and then on the 13th, we've got Mars going direct in your 12th house, which has been going retrograde, been there for a while. Then also on the 19th, um, you've got Mercury going direct in your 7th house. That would be better for relationships. And then on the 28th, you've got Venus going in 9th house. So it could be good for like if you're planning on traveling or studying um, or doing like a workshop. It could be quite good for that as well. So this year we still you still got Chiron in tenth. Um, later you got Jupiter there as well. So Jupiter is going to move on to the eleventh house, the house of friends, in around um, April May. But I'd look, and then um, you got Chiron in tenth, which is causing you a little bit of havoc there in the career. Um, you've got Pluto, which will be moving into from the sixth to the eighth, which can be changed with money this year and, and ongoing. You got Saturn, which is going to make its big change from Aquarius to Pisces in Random Arch as well. Um, so we've got within in the eighth house, it's harder to save. Then in the ninth house, it will affect more about travel plans and um, studying. But I'll, I'll talk more about that, that in my big twenty twenty three video that I do, and then going on forward when they do happen during the year. When I look at the cards, um, Cancerian, um, I feel like you're waiting for love or you're on the search for love or it's like you're waiting for love this month um, and I'm hearing you just got to wait for like, divine timing to take its, take its place. There is an aspect of someone that could be leaving and I feel like this is like relationships or love as well where there's like a love that crumbles. It's like a feeling of feeling like trapped, but also you're blinded as well. Um, and you can't really see what's really going on. And while you sort of think everything's rosy, rosy, it's like that it's, you're blinded. But I feel like there could be an aspect of moving on um, or like you're finding, trying to search and find for love this, this month. There could be someone around you in relationships or even if it's your children who's a bit bossy, controlling, um, who likes things their way. This person is is the person I feel like that could be you moving, moving on from. There is also an aspect of, I feel like for those who have children, maybe they're being bullied, there's something about, about children being bullied as well. Um, and I feel like it is this month, it is about moving forward and progressing on to something that's going to be more peaceful but also in harmony what you're looking for. Um, for others that are in like peaceful relationships, there is an aspect here of just of feeling, something about feeling trapped or someone's got you in a corner. There's also, I feel like what's going on this month is that you're on a mission and I feel like this is to do with your work to really find that right job it's like you're trying to plan your life here cancerians um i do feel like it's quite good here with with the with earnings and you, your work um it's like it's like this missing piece of the puzzle so it could be like everything coming together it could be also finding love through work having a work romance could be on the cards too this month for you cancerians I feel like it's very, care very important not to be manipulated or the person taking advantage of you. Um, let's have a look here. When it comes to family, you are the strong one here when it comes to siblings and you're going to be looked to or it's like you've got to um, help, help support but I feel like also it is time to um, show support to siblings. But also with the family, I do feel like they're, that you're very intuitive in you know, what's going on. But I do feel like there was some sort of celebration going on around the family this month for you. And let's see. Where are we going? 
well, money can be a bit hard. There could be some temptations coming in with money and expenses. So you could might find out you've got more expenses going out than coming in just because of temptation that's going to be there. Maybe with the sales a lot on in the new year. Um, so just watch that. Then we go to... I feel like you want to go on a holiday, but your budget is not stretching where you want to go. And it's like you want a holiday, but spend the, the, the least amount. And it's probably not going to work out in that favor. Um, I also feel like it could be some my people in your family asking for handouts or, or money as well um, coming in this month for you Cancerians. Um, when it comes to friends, it's like you're looking at a drawing board. So you're perhaps trying to see what's what's new i actually feel like you're gonna meet some new people new new circles of friends this month um we're more like-minded as you are cancerians this month you could might be careful of sleeping patterns it's like you might not be able to sleep or get like nightmares it's just something about the sleeping patterns or sleeping may not go that great this month for you um but also there's an aspect of being of, of bullying but I also feel like this this month is a good month for you to go out in nature to also um, be also like be around the water but also be around people who are in your corner with you because um, I feel like you're going to wake up from this relationship that's for somebody that's not great and it is going to be moving on but then back to the drawing board about relationships and, and friendships um, and things like that cancerians and it's about also not taking things for granted this month with you and it's like knowing your worth and knowing your you're at peace with things there's also a thing with work here which you might have to be looked to for more responsibility as well or more responsibility more responsibility given to you um, from a female that I feel see what I can get for you Cancerians Cancerians this is a time where you need to be out in nature and fill your lungs and breathe with the fresh air it is not a time to be kept up inside you are all said this is going to be incredibly different for you all you're all going to wake up from relationships that no longer serve you that be manipulations that are play and where things have been not not as they seem will be exposed for what they are you are all on this crazy adventure this year, 2023 Cancerians, and you, it's not for the faint-hearted or light-hearted. It is now your time to grow and grow and evolve so that you can all work together in the coming months and years. Okay. So Happy New Year, and I thank you for your likes, shares, and your comments, and I will see you for the next video. So bye for now.